Alright guys, so we're going to show you something we haven't showed you in a long time, and that's snakes. Uh, it happens to be that time of year where they're laying eggs, so today we're going to pull a clutch. we got a really big normal female uh, that was bred to Enchi and Black Pastel and Butter, so we shall see in 60 days what we got. And what I like to do is have just a Rubbermaid top here, just in case she decides to be pretty ter territorial. and pokes her off her eggs gently. She looks like she's going to be very well behaved. So we'll get rid of that. Uncoil her gently from the back. You can see that concaveness in there. Next what I'm going to do is palpate her. Make sure she doesn't have one in there. But she does not. Now I'm going to take her and put her in a clean cup. And we'll come back to her and just a minute. So, cage is a little dirty. When they're about to lay, we don't clean it, so that's why there's little urates here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven eggs. Not a bad clutch. I thought she would have laid a little bit more, being she was well over 2,000 grams, but you know what? I will take seven beautiful eggs. So from here, what I'm going to do is just put a little mark on the top so I know what the tops are because I have a good idea that this ain't going to come off in one piece which would be nice because some of these might not be stuck together and some might so first we'll see if we can peel these bottoms off gently separate it from the newspaper and I just separate from all sides And I'm pretty sure this is going to be, yeah, that's beautiful. One whole clump. Good. So next, I got my vermiculite already mixed up. I'll make a little divot in here for them. Grab the whole clutch in one shot. Drop in there, and then I'm going to fill up these holes in between all the X. Just like so. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Sorry, I'm all in your way, ain't I? Uh, next, what I like to do is take press and seal. Best product you'll find for incubating snake eggs. Cover the top. Press the seal down all the way around. That forms a nice barrier so the humidity can stay in there. Put my lid on. And then, that's normal number three. Three and the date. So the day is the second, or third, third. Thank you, Josh. I totally forgot I was off today. So, Put these in the cooker at 89 degrees. We also have another clutch in there from Bumblebee to normal. I'm sorry, Bumblebee to butter. Yeah. And we're doing very well. We got seven eggs from her. So that's uh, a good clutch there too. And I'll just check them once a week, open them up to let the gas exchange out, and that's it. So 60 days, try and do a video on opening these. This one is actually yeah, about 35 days away, so soon. So next what we'll do is I'll totally clean out that cage, spray it down with disinfectant, new everything, clean the water bowl, the whole nine yards. And then I'll use dilute chlorhexidine on a paper towel and wipe off that snake's belly so we get all that egg scent off of her and then use a paper towel, just plain water, to get the disinfectant off of her stomach. Again, that's just so we can get that egg scent off because they have a really, really strong maternal sense so that they're going to want to not eat and coil and, you know, it just gets out of, at a lot of problem spots. So, hope you enjoyed this quick video today and uh, hopefully we got some cool pythons popping out for you soon. It just started. We only got two clutches. Uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get a lot more, so we'll see. Our season's been a little slow. Take care, guys.